how hard is it to build a small electric car? It's a question that I'm sure many people have asked over the years, and it's one that's just popped back into the spotlight after mini brand boss Peter Schwarzenbach told Auto Car Magazine in the UK that transitioning the mini brand to electric would be quite a challenge because of the brand's traditionally small size. I should note that Schwarzenbach did continue by saying that the Mini brand, which now is known as an urban brand, will become electrified and moreover is the sensible choice given the brand's natural position in the market. In other words, while Mini is working on an electric vehicle and has plans to be an electric brand in the future, it also acknowledges the challenges that lay ahead. Just how much of a challenge? Well, it all comes down to vehicle design. If we think back to 2008, when Mini was producing limited numbers of electric Mini E models, models which parent company BMW used to help it refine electric drivetrain technology and test the EV market, the entire rear seat area of the Mini E was taken up with batteries. In other words, the usually four or five seat Mini Cooper was turned into a two seat vehicle. But the reason behind putting the battery pack there was because the vehicles being built were based upon the standard chassis design of the internal combustion engine Mini Cooper of the time. A design which never factored in a plug-in drivetrain and therefore never had a space specifically for the battery pack within the chassis. The solution? Build a platform which factors in a battery pack, placing space underneath the load bay floor for the battery pack. This allows for regular cabin and luggage space without compromising interior volume. But there are some compromises. The space that you can make available to a battery pack is only as large as the wheelbase, at least unless you want to make space available elsewhere in the vehicle, which then eats into cabin and or luggage space. Additionally, placing a battery pack underneath the car usually means building a vehicle that's slightly taller than one without a battery pack, since you need to keep decent ground clearance. An alternative, of course, is to follow Tesla's design philosophy and create a skateboard-style setup in which the battery pack is part of the vehicle's chassis, or at least sits within the chassis. This allows for a lower profile vehicle, but again, is limited by the physical size of the car's footprint. Of course, as battery pack energy density increases, it's becoming ever easier to build small platform cars with long range battery packs. And solid state battery tech, which many companies, including mini parent company BMW, is investing heavily in, is said to offer both higher energy densities and faster charge times than today's lithium ion battery packs. That should again mean longer range, small footprint cars are going to soon be easier to build than they are today. But let's not get too bogged down in specifics here, because while it might be harder for BMW to build an electric Mini than, say, an electric 5 Series, it is far from impossible. For a start, the BMW i3, which has a wheelbase smaller than most Mini Coopers, does just fine with a 114 mile battery pack underneath the floor. And while the Mini Cooper is six inches shorter and a little narrower than the i3, the i3 is about the same height as the Mini Cooper Countryman, meaning that there are other members of the Mini family which aren't far off the i3 in terms of size. Need more range? The Chevrolet Bolt EV, while larger than the Mini Cooper, isn't far off the Mini Countryman in terms of overall dimensions. Sure, the Bolt EV is a little taller, but it's actually shorter in length than the Mini Countryman. And it manages to pack in a 60 kWh battery pack and keep a completely flat floor for second row occupants. My conclusion, if you are looking to build a mini sized electric car, yes, dimensions do make it harder to pack in a high capacity battery pack while simultaneously keeping the vehicle low and sporty. But by no means is it impossible. It just requires some careful planning. What's more, if you follow that skateboard style design with as many of the battery drivetrain and power electronics fitted low down in the chassis, it's possible to have more space inside the vehicle than you would with a conventional internal combustion engine to design. This, however, carries a caveat. A new platform needs to be designed, which is expensive for an automaker to do. So perhaps instead of calling mini electrification tough, bosses at BMW should be calling it expensive. And that would be accurate. Given BMW was going ahead with mini electrification, it seems it's willing to fund that development. But there is one final thing to note. 
BMW's Mini brand is a brand that's known in large cities and suburbia, and that means it may not necessarily be a brand that requires a 200 plus mile battery pack. A designer sporty, fun ride with 150 miles of range and good rapid charging capabilities, and I suspect it would sell just fine. Do you agree? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. And if you want to help us continue to make these videos, why not support us by using one of the links below or by buying something from the Transport Evolved shop? I'm seeing more and more of you with Transport Evolved swag. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep evolving.